The Hampstead Hill Academy girls volleyball team recently beat Baltimore Leadership School for Young Women, and for them it was redemption. It was just like so exciting to know that we lost to that team last year, but we came back like even stronger as a team together and could beat them this year. It was just like so enjoyable. We were all cheering and celebrating. The Hornets are undefeated. Hard to believe, considering just two years ago, a volleyball team didn't even exist at this school. Ready? But that was before Benita Vargas Brown came along. Good try. Oh, you can't stay off the floor today. And I thought it was a great way to stay involved with my community and do something that can make a positive change in the community. Benita was looking for a way to spend her free time and give back, so she signed up with a nonprofit called Coaching Corps. Now she spends her hours here at the school volunteering her time. Coaching Corps is a nonprofit based in California. It recruits and trains coaches to volunteer in underserved communities. Principals are kind of cobbling together um, teams and coaches and leagues on our own. And so when you've got a nonprofit like Coaching Corps that can come in and provide the, um, the caring experience, it's a great opportunity. An opportunity for Hampstead Hill Academy to provide its students another outlet to learn leadership, teamwork, and character in a structured environment. I have one girl that takes a 45-minute bus ride every morning to come here because it's her eighth grade year, and she wanted to be on the team still. And Benita is more than a coach. She's a mentor who often drives her students to and from practice and talks to them about life. Our coach is great. She, she just makes sure that we bring our you know, effort into everything. She also wants us to succeed in life. For her dedication, Benita recently accepted the NBC Sport Game Changer Coach of the Year Award. Coaching Corps flew her and a team captain to California to get the prize. As happy as I am to have received it, I'm more excited for what it's done for my girls. In Baltimore, Theo Hayes, WBAL-TV 11 News.